<laughs> going? I'm going. All right, we're good. So we have found the eastern white pine, a.k.a. Pinus strobus. I believe it is its name in scientific whatever terms. So it is a very huge tree. This tree can get absolutely massive. And I'm going to read you guys some facts from my trusty Lone Pine book. And first, we will come down here. <laughs> and, yes, uh, we will. Come on, let's go. As well, you don't have to be like, can you get this in? Are I will good? do a little close up. Alright. Alright. This is the white pine pine cone that I explained in my earlier video, which I probably won't show now because we found this. But, um, yeah, you peel these open in the springtime when the pine cones are still green. There's actually some really cool mushrooms growing out of them. But when you peel them open, I found some earlier, so there should be some seeds still stuck in here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get them into the... Oh! Last one. <laughs> there it is. Alright, so these are the seeds, which I don't know if it's too blurry or can you see that good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so yeah, these are the pine seeds. They look exactly like I said, basically like uh, little apple seeds. And they're highly nutritious and all that good stuff. We're going to let these go. And now we will read from the book. Okay, so, white pine. Ah, food. Can you hear me good? Yeah. Of course. Glorious. The inner bark, cambium, is sweet and edible in spring, and young needles can be steeped to make pine tea. The oil-rich, nutritious seeds were eaten by Aboriginal peoples and early settlers. Unopened cones were burned in a large fire which cooked and released the seeds at the same time. The seeds were then eaten, ground into meal for making breads or stored for later use sometimes mixed with dried berries. Medicine. The tender young leaf, tender young needles are a good source of vitamin C and have been used to treat scurvy. This <laughs> tea is said to stimulate urination and help bring up phlegm and mucus from the lungs. Pepper. So it is often used for respiratory problems such as coughs and tuberculosis. Uh, pine resin has been used for many years in cough syrups and in ointments for burns and skin infections. The resin was often applied externally to treat cuts, sores, bruises, scabs, and boils, for drawing out thorns and slivers, and as a skin cosmetic. It is used both internally and as a rub and sh steam bath in the treatment of rheum rheumatic affections. It has been used for stomach and kidney troubles as a spring emetic, blood purifier, and fertility aid. The inner bark was applied to, chest, to the chest to treat strong colds. The powdered wood was used on babies to treat chafing and sores on improperly healed navels. <coughs> hmm. Other uses. Eastern white pine is a sacred tree and symbol of the Ojibwe. The pitch was used as a protective coating for whaling and fishing equipment and as a waterproofing and cleansing agent. The bows of the eastern white pine wood are, were used on the ground or floor as bedding. Western pine wood is the most important western source for matchwood. The wood has been used to make small totem poles, canoes, and baskets. A tan or green dye can be obtained from the needles. Western white pine populations have been seriously affected by white pine blister rust, a fungus that was introduced from Europe. Resistance to this fungus is genetic, so some individuals are relatively unaffected by the rust. Eastern white pine is an important timber tree and is grown widely in plantation forestry. It was valued it was a valued source for ship mast in the past. 
Okay. So, what else can we tell you about this guy? Mm -hmm. Eastern white pine, Pinus strobus, grows to 30 meters tall, has gray brown to pale brown cones, 8 to 20 centimeters long, that shed their seeds and fall quickly after. Grows in mesic to dry sites from southern, eastern, uh, what's MB? Manitoba? Manitoba across to Newfoundland and grew to exceptional uh -huh. size as emergent in eastern Canadian forests. Eastern white pine is the provincial tree of Ontario. Alright, cool. So a way to identify this tree, I guess, would be that it has clusters of five needles. Unfortunately, there's no low enough branches to show you guys, but at the end of each twig, you would find five little needles bunched together at the very base of the twig and they're basically like quite soft and uh, dangly I guess you could say and approximately they're usually about there we go like 10 to 12 centimeters long I believe something like that and that was would be how you identify these guys there's also a number of ways uh, they're a pretty distinct tree. Their branches shoot perfectly horizontally out of the trunk going in a circular fashion. And uh, yeah, they're an awesome tree. Probably one of my favorite trees. All my trees are favorite. Mm -hmm. But yeah, awesome tree. And we'll be back with more information. Peace out.